Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching my channel The Witty Turtle and in this video we are going to start with section 35 triple C which speaks about expenditure on agricultural extension project right so uh, under this section the eligible SSC uh, are all the SSCs like all the SSCs are eligible to claim deduction under this section 35 triple C and uh, another thing is that in this particular section expenditure on land and building on acquisition of land and building is not allowed right so this section says that when any SSC any SSC incurs any kind of expenditure for um, agricultural extension project uh, which is notified by CBDT right which is notified by CBDT and the SSC has complied with all the prescribed guidelines. So in that case, 100% deduction is allowed on the uh, expenditure incurred by the SSC, right? So here we need to remember three things. The first is that uh, the expenditure must be uh, uh, incurred for agricultural extension project. Second is that that particular work must be notified by CBDT. And the next is that all the prescribed guidelines are followed by the SSC. So in that case, 100% deduction is claimed under this section, can be claimed under this particular section. Now the next point says that if you have claimed deduction and the deduction has been allowed under uh, uh, this particular section in any assessment year, then you cannot claim uh, deduction for this particular expenditure under any other section. इस particular section में अगर आपने deduction claim कर लिया और वो deduction allowed भी हो गया, then आप किसी भी next assessment year में इस particular खर्चे के लिए deduction claim नहीं कर सकते, right? Uh, the next thing that we need to understand is that this agricultural extension project shall be considered for uh, 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 for the notification if it fulfills the following three conditions okay the following three conditions what are those the first is that uh, the 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 project must be undertaken by an SSC to uh, train educate and guide the farmers the project must be undertaken for providing the training education and guidance to the farmers okay the second point says that the uh, this particular uh, project shall have prior appro approval of ministry of agriculture and government of india right what is the first point the first point says that the project shall be uh, uh, carried out for training education and guidance of farmers the second point says that the project uh, shall have prior approval of um, ministry of agriculture and government of india and the third point says that you should have a vision of spending at least 25 lakhs in this project right uh, usko jo bhi legal language mein whatever is written uh, written in uh, legal language that you can study from the book uh, it says that an expenditure not being expenditure in the nature of uh, cost of any land or building which means kharcha for uh, your uh, acquisition of land and building is not allowed so an expenditure exceeding the amount of 25 lakhs is expected to be incurred for the project. That means you are about to spend at least 25 lakhs in this project, right? So what was the first thing? Uh, training, education and uh, guidance of farmer. The second is that prior approval of Ministry of Agriculture and Government of India. The next is that you are about to spend at least 25 lakhs in this project right if all these three conditions are followed uh, conditions are satisfied then uh, 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 you, you your uh, project shall be considered for uh, uh, the uh, notification given by cbdt right so here the next thing is that uh, what are the components of this particular expenditure so this uh, like uh, Kispe deduction milega, what is the final amount on which deduction can be claimed, right? So it says that whatever um, expenditure the company is incurring minus which is the amount which is reimbursed by others or received from the beneficiary, right? For example, the company is spending 1 crore rupees on this project, right? Uh, and out of those 1 crore, 
the uh, the company is getting 25 lakhs from the farmers itself who are the beneficiary in this case the farmers are the beneficiaries so here the company is getting uh, 25 lakhs from the beneficiaries so that amount will be reduced from the cost reduced from the uh, expenditure incurred why because we are that is already getting recovered right so uh, how why to claim deduction on that and here it is also said that um uh, if any um uh, if any uh, percentage is reimbursed or reimbursable to the ssc by any person for example if government is giving another 30 lakhs right so that 30 lakhs will also be deducted from uh, 1 crore so what is the amount of uh, what is the amount on which deduction can be claimed in this case 1 crore minus uh, uh, received from the beneficiary that is your 25 lakhs minus your 30 lakhs which is reimbursed by the government right so the remaining 45 lakhs uh, on remaining 45 lakhs you can claim the deduction right i hope this is clear so that was all about uh, section 35 triple c the next thing is that we are going to study is section 35 ccd section 35 ccd so this speaks about the expenditure incurred on skill development project skill development project so here who are the eligible ssc's only the companies are eligible here right only the companies are eligible here in this section another thing is that uh, the cost incurred for uh, uh, acquisition of land and building is not allowed right so this particular section 35 ccd says that where a company incurs any expenditure on any skill development project right on any skill development project which is notified by cbdt and also that uh, the company has uh, fulfilled all the uh, prescribed guidelines so in that case 100% deduction is allowed on uh, the expenditure incurred for skill development project right so how many components are there the ssc must be a company uh, uh, not for land and building the next thing is that it must be incurred for skill development project and uh, the next is that uh, it must be notified by cbdt and prescribed guidelines must be followed if all these five conditions are satisfied then what happens 100% deduction can be claimed and the second point is uh, also very similar to the previous section so the second point says that if any deduction is claimed under this section in any of the assessment year so in that case what happens you cannot claim a further deduction in any other upcoming assessment years ek bar is pe deduction mil gaya then dobara is pe deduction nahi milne wala hai right i hope this is clear uh, both the sections are clear to you in the next class we will start with specified business that is your section 35 ad and uh, uh, if you find this video then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel the witty turtle and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that tomorrow you'll be notified when i upload a new video and uh, yes don't uh, forget to share this video with your ca and cm final friends